Yep. Yeah. Peter makes me get I'm sorry. Yep, it's over, bro. But he's still folding it up. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, fucking rock over your head should make you giggle too. Bro, yeah, he folding, bro. Come this, on, bro. This it makes me giggle too. Giggle too, bro. This nigga. I ain't know uh, alcohol was <laughs> fucking it, bro. airborne. <laughs> this nigga folded, bro. What's going on, Clutch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy, Duck. It's your boy, Ross. We in the Clutch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, with another bitch today. You feel me? All right, we're going to check out when suspects try to seduce cops now. That's sometimes crazy, bro. It happens. You know, the ladies get pulled over. You feel me? And, you know, they think I'm a woman. Or guys. I, or guys. And, you know, I want to try to get out this potential ticket. And uh, they try to seduce the cops. The question is, will the cops fall for it? That's what we're about to check out right here, man. Appreciate all the love. Have you ever had a lady oh. cop that you, you know? Mm -mm. Never. Nope. Mm, not that I can think of, no. It's only been uh, course, male the cops. <laughs> <laughs> it's only been uh, the male cops. I've never been pulled over by a female cop, so. Gotcha. Yeah. I don't know how that would play out. Take that off your... It's on your bucket list? <laughs> it's not on my bucket list. I just don't know how that would play out. Granted, I'm not trying to get pulled over by cops anyway, so, you know. Sir, can you step out the vehicle? Oh, and, damn. Uh, Put my phone. If y'all see me on IG Live, there's a reason. Why. This nigga here, I'm just have my IG Live on, bro. Y'all, y'all screen record it. Do what y'all gotta do, bro. I'm dead ass, dead ass. She Hi. might, she might, you know. <laughs> That's up, a nice bro. car you got here. <laughs> what do you do? <laughs> I think I've seen you around before. Oh, yeah, you just need to hear, bro. <laughs> creating scenarios. All right, let's get into this. Come on. <laughs> Criminals getting stopped by police can often use many violent methods to try and escape. But what happens when suspects try to seduce and flirt with cops to avoid sentences? Here are four examples of when this very situation Damn, was caught on camera. Damn. Starting with 48 year old Kelly Barton, who drove into a lamppost while transporting a special needs patient for oh. work. However, when police arrived, she oh, was looking oh. a little worse for wear. Kelly? Yes? How are you doing? Kelly admits that she had too much to drink that evening, but doesn't what admit to driving, despite it being her Hold job. On, Unfortunately for her, though, <clears throat> security camera footage from the gas station proves that she was, in fact, behind the wheel and is now facing charges of both DUI and neglect due to the responsibility she carried while driving with the patient. Yes, but as an ambulance Kelly. pulls up to perform some tests on her, Kelly reveals that she has another trick up her sleeve and begins repeatedly flirting with all of the officers at the scene. Look at your hands. Do so you want the life squad to check you, ma'am? Yeah. That's wild. Let him do it. Arrest her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, get out of here. Get, get out of here. here. <laughs> I'm going to be honest, Kelly. You didn't even have one chance, Kelly. Yeah. You didn't get, have, you're you going ain't to jail. had a chance. You're going in, to jail tonight. <laughs> you ain't have a chance in sight, Kelly. Come yeah, on. Nah, bro. What they got to do? Come on, boys. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Bro. I want the little young boys. Ask me how I'm feeling. Let the little young boys oh, tell me. Yeah. Let me tell you something. Uh -huh. What I would do to you with your blue eyes. So let me check the blood sugar. Okay. Look at him. Arrest him. him right. In a way hey. He won't eat me. Hey, look. He can that ain't even cute. You right? hear? <laughs> Don't let me get him. After no. multiple tests, it's right. clear to the officers that Kelly was way over the legal limit and is arrested for driving while intoxicated. Yeah. And after struggling to get her into the police vehicle, she's sent on her way to the police station. But if you think Kelly was bold for talking to cops like that, 18-year-old Skylar Flutz is on a completely different level, going oh, so Flutz. far as to post this video to thousands of people bragging about how she got away with a DUI. I got out of a DUI and got let off with a warning. <laughs> What? Skyler was pulled over after an officer saw her weaving around the road in a way that suggested she might not have been completely sober. Damn, but according to her video, she claims that using her flirtatious and quick wit, she managed to that trick the officer and get away with a warning. 
I blew a 3.8 and he let me off with a f***ing warning and gave me his number and said we should. Hey, he needs to be fired, bro. She could have killed somebody, bro. And then she's a dumb dumb because she posted it. She didn't learn a and goddamn thing. told the thing. whole story. Didn't learn a damn thing. Fucking idiots. Give me for coffee or lunch. He was hot, so I'm getting lunch with him tomorrow. If her story is true, then the officer would be in serious trouble. But luckily, the officer in question recorded the entire interaction on his body cam, and the video tells a completely different oh. story. Oh, okay. My name's Deputy Stall. I'm in the Jefferson County Sheriff's Office. I pulled you over because you were weaving oh, a little bit back there. Where are you coming from? Um, I was coming from my friend's house. I actually just got dumped. Okay. So I was like crying and like I'm really upset. Okay. Were you, were you on your phone and stuff too? Is she really, really going to the... the whole oh, Alright, bro. Lock her ass up. Yeah, lock her ass up for that bad acting. Because my heart hurts Okay. So bad. Well, I'm just concerned that you were weaving because of alcohol, but if you're on your phone... That's Have you been drinking or anything That's bad tonight? too. No, okay. The deputy then does give Skylar a card with the sheriff department's information on it, but it didn't include his personal number and it didn't come with an invitation to dinner. Okay. Sounds that like makes you're sense. having a rough night, so I'm not going to add to that by writing you a ticket or anything, okay? So I'm just going to give you a warning. It's not a big deal. I just want to make sure you're okay. You're weaving a little bit, and I just want to make sure you're okay to operate the motor vehicle, and I believe you are. Um, so my information's right here on the front. Wouldn't have been that way for me. <laughs> you don't think so? Sir, get out the car. I need to uh, <laughs> check some things with you. It definitely wouldn't have went stop, that. Stop resisting. Yeah. Stop yeah, resisting. Right now, I got broke up with. Yeah, man, my girl just left me. I don't give a fuck. Get your ass out of here. She should have broke up with you. Get your ass out of here. The reason I stopped you here is on the back. Skin. Where we were headed, uh, get her safe, man. I'm sorry you're having a bad night. <laughs> okay. No, you're, you're fine. Yeah, well, no, you don't need to apologize. I mean, you were weaving a little bit with no traffic out. I just want to make sure you're okay, that's all. Skylar's video doesn't just contain disgusting footage real nice, of her man. laughing See, and bragging about good cops out this there. officer's kindness, but also states that she blew she a 3.8 go on the breathalyzer, ignoring that she wasn't even tested in the first place. The legal limit is only around 0.8 and already makes driving dangerous. But a reading of 3.8 would imply Skylar was not only blackout drunk, yeah. but close to death. As yeah, right. at a level of 4.0, respiratory failure is likely. But this doesn't mean Skylar was lying about being drunk underage. Videos were later discovered of her chugging tequila from the bottle and acting drunk at a party just hours before she was caught driving. After she was confronted with this, Skylar confessed and admitted to everything. I ended up getting a little too intoxicated. Um, I was taking shots all night and I... She's not showing her face now? It's the forces. There you go. Yeah. The dirty She's forces. The dirty Decided forces to tell you. decision to get into my car and drive. She also admitted that the officer never asked her out. That was just a lie for social media attention. Regardless of her confession, though, of no further action was taken against her or the officer who failed to test her. But the same can't be said for Lydia Badillo. She was caught trying to transport two illegal immigrants over the Mexican border, and as soon as everything started to fall apart, Whoa. she decided to try seducing the officer. Oh, yep, Just wait for me right here, okay? You don't I'm have anything. <laughs> Sorry, sir. What, what? I'm looking at your eyes. Why? Because you look pretty handsome. As soon as the officer realizes something might be look up with these the cuffs IDs, I'm about to put on your ass. starts to smile and <laughs> stare directly at his eyes <sighs> before telling him how handsome he is. Yep. Obviously, this is just a trick to try and get out of the position she's put herself in. A trick that isn't going to work. Someone said, I mean, you're the problem, bro. Bro, y'all niggas. <laughs> Chat would have folded. <laughs> A lot of y'all niggas would have folded. That's wild. Y'all <laughs> folded to Lydia. <laughs> on this officer. Estos documentos por un tiempo. Por un año. Por un año. Okay. Pues son, son falsos, okay. Y tener documentos <laughs> en estados de Texas es un delito. Las ID, a esta te sale a un señor, a tuya. Esta no me sale nada. Okay, so estas identificaciones son falsas. Oh, ID is a fake. Okay. After running the woman's driver's licenses through the national database, the officer discovers that the ID numbers return completely wrong results, Damn. meaning that both of them are totally fake. It's later discovered that the two women with Lydia in the car are both illegal immigrants from El Salvador. What's worse wow. is that they were being transported through a service that often forces women into debt bondage, oh. where the people who transported them will make them pay off their debt through forced labor and sex wow. work. So 
while Lydia was arrested and the two women sent right. back over the border, they may She's have been saved from years of yeah. horrible treatment and abuse. One thing's for sure, though, Lydia's attempt at flirting didn't work one bit, unlike Brooke Molly. Teague's attempt, which actually worked out well. So well, it's rumored that her and the cop are still together to this day. Brooke was pulled over after an officer witnessed her swerving around the road slightly, a telltale Wait. sign that the driver was either intoxicated or in need of help. So he swiftly pulled her over, only to be greeted in a surprising Damn. way. How many hey, lanes? Smith, go play nice hey. to meet you, Mr. Smith. Um, <clears throat> I've never heard that before in Travis Stop. I appreciate that. Um, hey, so I'm just stopping you for improper language. Sorry, I was on the phone. You're on the phone? I'll be honest. Okay. Who are you on the phone with? My baby daddy. I'll show it to you too. Baby daddy. Okay. Yeah. Zachary? Yeah. <clears throat> How much do you have to drink tonight? Only one drink. Just one drink. Yep. Yes, Final sir. answer. Miller. A Miller Lite. Yes. <laughs> I won't lie to you, a Miller Lite. That's, that's all you've had. Yes, sir. You can ask Zachary. I don't really want to talk I to Zachary. I know you don't, but I'm just saying. <laughs> okay. In just this first oh. minute of conversation, two things become clear immediately. Say Brooke, blue eyes, white, white privilege. Yeah, I saw it has Fire definitely cheap. had more than one beer to drink, and how well she and the officer seem to be Eesh. getting along already. Both points that will get increasingly more obvious as the footage continues. Yeah, I can smell it from across the car. She's like, I had one Miller lot. There's no, I wanted to say like, a Miller did that to you? I think Miller, 128 ounce Miller. <laughs> <laughs> Miller. All right, where bucket are we at of Miller. Awesome. Brooke? Yes. Teague, am I saying that right, Teague? Yes. Like baseball league. Teague like baseball league. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> it helps people spell it because it's got jokes. She is getting cooked. He's Dominic Mysterio right now. <laughs> right. <laughs> and she's Liv Morgan folding this nigga, bro. He's getting he, he, folded. Oh, never heard of that one before. Teague he, like he, league. Bro, he's getting she's rizzing him, bro. You got bars. Bro, he's 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 folding. So you won't <laughs> be behind bars. <laughs> Did they ever spell it correctly? Brooke then gets taken out for some sobriety tests, which take much longer than anticipated. Yep. Yeah. It makes me giggle. Random. I'm sorry. Yep, it's over, bro. But he's still folding it up. <laughs> okay. Wait, what? <laughs> oh, a fucking rock over your head should make you giggle too. Bro, yeah, he folding, bro. Come this, on, bro. This it makes me giggle too. Giggle too, bro. This nigga. I know uh, alcohol was <laughs> fucking folded, bro. airborne. This <laughs> nigga folded, bro. Oh my. I snore. I'm from Sorry. Huntsville. We're supposed to be professional. I'm from bro. Huntsville. Isn't going to make me snore. All right. Stop laughing because you're making me laugh. I'm not. Right, seriously. <laughs> I'm giggling. I'm All sorry. Right, is this a first date or something, nigga? Like, where, nah. where's Zach at? Damn. Wasn't Zach on the phone? <laughs> he, he on that nigga. He said, I don't want to talk to that nigga. Get that right. nigga off. <laughs> Serious deal? All yeah. right. Okay. You're smiling. I can't help it. <laughs> all right. So, stop. Okay. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, despite all the jokes, Brooke failed all the sobriety <laughs> tests and was put under arrest. How much you've actually had a drink? I've had two Millers. Two Millers now? No, I went up to two. That's it. Yes, sir. You can call Mitchell, the manager. Okay. Well, hey, go ahead and put your hands on your back. You always got okay? somebody that you can call to talk to. Oh. After a search of her car, which turned up nothing but a loose car seat, she was driven back to the police station where oh, the loose. sparks continued to fly. I have I'm fixing her hair. Right. So here. Oh, my God. Is there a dog? There is a dog. Where? He's over there. Over here. What? His name is Kolyak. Kolyak? That's my dog. Is that your dog? What's his name? Oh, this ain't what no is fucking going on, trip? bro? What's happening? It's the Nigga. nicest take bro. in I've ever seen, bro. Blue eyes, white privilege. <clears throat> that man. This Somebody is... said I bet he spelled her up. I have three dogs. I have a great taking in the nest. Wow. Okay, so. You seen it? What's your eyes? Huh? You seen the screensaver? Indiana. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Not Brazo, Indiana. Where in Indiana? Not Brazo. I was raised from Bloomfield. Really? Yeah. Note that despite the obvious chemistry, both Brooke and the officer have remained professional and are continuing to move on with the investigation. The officer had Brooke take a blood alcohol test where she blew 0.14%, almost twice the legal limit. Yep. Brooke still spent the night in jail to sober up and had her license suspended temporarily. 
But this interaction shows how respect and professionalism can make an investigation much, much easier. It's just unfortunate that this cop didn't meet Brooke at a bar. Maybe things would have ended with a night at his place instead of the jail. Man, he still got them goddamn numbers. I don't right. Hear that shit. Yeah, man. I don't yeah, hear that man. shit. He definitely got them numbers, bro. He continued the situation he, somewhere. He knows the address. He yeah. knows all that shit. What, man? All he got to do is get Zach out the picture. Yep. And go ahead and, you know, stick his hair back. Hold it like a table, bro. Can't you can't even believe that, bro. <laughs> Teague like league. He was probably over there by her jail cell. Hey, you need any water? You need snacks? Yeah. Yeah. We normally don't serve this, but you know, we got, I got some extra Denny's. Um, <laughs> I'm about to eat that food. Oh Shit, my sense. God. Bro. Hey, man, that was crazy. It really was. Um, yeah. Out of all of them, she's the one that got closest to actually it working. Yeah. Even though she was over twice the legal limit of alcohol. Consumption. Yeah. But let us know what y'all think of the video, man, in the comments. If y'all want us to check out some more videos similar to this, let us know. Send us some. Continue to spread love, be love, share, like, subscribe. You know what's up. Catch y'all in the next one. Peace. Already. This bitch is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.